That's a nice boy, is that? Yes, you have us. You have us. Amigo. And? Good morning, eh? Ah. Opala. 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 <laughs> Hurry up, you boys are late. Matias, we are late. Ah, uh, again? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> This shooting to do. Where are you boys been? All right, boys, time to get the photo shoot done. My name is Matias Valkner. Hello, I'm Kevin Menavides. G'day, I'm Toby Price, and I'm riding for Red Bull KDM Fighter Racing. To describe to somebody that doesn't know what Dakar is all about, for the bikes, we start quite early in the morning. We're around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, we take off. We're on the bike for around 10, 12 hours a day. Before is a uh long intensity race. After a few days, it started to be really difficult because it's, it's really hard for the mind, for the body, for everything, so. By the end of the, the 14 days, we'll cover about nine to 10,000 kilometers. So yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. Yeah, for the Dakar, I prepare during the whole year. There's a lot of testing, uh, development on the motorcycle that um, gets us here yeah, pretty much physically ready and um, we're trying to improve to, to make the race a little bit easier for us on the bike. We found a really good plan with, with the complete team and the best thing is just to spend many hours as is possible on the bike and doing some roadbook stuff. Also by myself, I mentally prepare a lot during the year. Uh, I train a lot with my psychologist. It can help a lot in, in such a long race because in the end it's not always that it's so hard for the body. It also, it, this, this kind of race start to box a little bit your mind. You can't lose sleep on, on things that have happened that you can't change. and. Yeah, you need to try and stay focused on the roadbook ahead and what we call our navigation tower. Um, yeah, we have a roadbook that gets placed in our hands 20 minutes before the stage. And yeah, we basically have got to quickly scan that as quickly as we can. A lot of people think it's, it would be quite easy, but yeah, to try and ride a bike at 140, 50, 60 kilometers an hour, um, take your eyes off the road and to look at the roadbook, you, you run at a risk uh, pretty much the whole way. It's, it's pretty, pretty wild and pretty scary at times. For normally the Dakar was always a race what I really never want to do because it's, it's many bad injured people, is super dangerous. It's mentally challenging and physically challenging. It's tough on machine. My, my most physically demanding one was probably in 2019 um, when I rode Dakar with a broken skateboard. That one there, I, I was basically signing myself up for two, three days and then I was going to pack my bags and go home. and. Just every day I was in a good position and yeah, we kept going and ended up getting a win in 2019. There was days where I spent more than 10 hours on the bike. We have the heat from 45 degrees. One day after was like minus 10 degrees. Then we have the altitude of 5,000 altitude meters. It was so, so tough for the, for the head, for the body. And I never feel again that cold in my life. There is like, you arrive to one point where you start to like a little bit that feeling because this tough hard feeling when you're super tired and then everything is on the limit is like 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 a drug the 
Dakar means to me um, everything. My first Dakar was in 2016 and was well, yes, amazing. I, I finished the Dakar in four positions, so it was incredible for me. I, I never expect that. My first Dakar was uh, in 2015 and I actually got a podium on my first attempt, which was uh, an unheard of result. The first Dakar I, I did was just really, really cool because in these 14 days I have more stories to, to tell, to explain than from my, my 15, 20 year motocross career. Yeah, the, the coolest thing I ever do in my life. Of course, to achieve the, the highest spot of the podium means everything because this should be all of our goal. This year was, was special because I won with KTM. I have the honor also to fight until the end with my teammate. To fall 43 seconds short um, of a Dakar win, it's uh, the closest ever finish in history of Dakar. And um, I always remember that day in my life. Yeah, I've got to, got to live with that one for the rest of my life to my name. That there was a tough year. I broke my femur and then uh, when I was more or less okay, I broke my wrist. So it was a complicated year, you know. Everything happened for some reason and I think I, I will come back stronger for, for the next Dakar. So I have to say, yeah, the last last year we improved quite a lot and I'm, I'm happy with the progress. This is my 10th Dakar I'm coming up to. Yeah, we're ready to race this one in 2024 and um, I need to get another win back in my hands. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> <laughs>